If you are bored of Windows and wanted to try an alternative operating system, then this video is for you. In this video, I will show you how to erase Windows and install Linux on any PC or laptop. For those who are new to Linux and watching this video, let me provide you with a high-level overview of Linux. Linux is an open-source operating system that offers a powerful desktop experience similar to Windows 11 and Mac OS. It is user-friendly thanks to GNOME and KDE Plasma, which provide a modern desktop look and come with powerful applications pre-installed. Compared to Windows, Linux is extremely lightweight and consumes fewer system resources. Even a computer with 1 GHz dual-core processor and 1 GB of RAM can run the Linux desktop smoothly beyond your imagination. Due to its lightweight nature, Linux has become a popular alternative to Windows and Mac OS. By installing Linux, you will enter the open source world and experience something entirely new. Linux is a mature operating system that can support your daily workflow, whether it's for media consumption, personal computing, or coding. For this demonstration, I will be using my HP Pavilion gaming laptop, which currently runs Windows 11. In a few minutes, I will completely erase Windows 11 and install a fresh copy of the Linux operating system. There are numerous Linux distributions available, but for this tutorial, I prefer Pop OS as it performs well on most hardware. Pop OS is a Ubuntu based operating system that is considered to be a stable Linux distribution. If you are interested in learning about different flavors or distros of Linux, you can check out my previous videos linked in the description below. Before proceeding with the installation of Pop OS and erasing Windows 11, it's recommended to back up any important files such as documents, videos, and pictures to a cloud drive or an external disk. Additionally, if your Windows 11 laptop has BitLocker encryption enabled, it is advisable to disable it. Now with that in mind, let's begin the Linux installation process. To install Linux on your computer, you will need an 8 gigs or higher capacity pen drive to create a bootable USB. First, on your Windows computer, open your favorite browser and visit the website to download Pop OS. If your laptop or PC has an NVIDIA graphics card, you can download the version that comes with pre-installed NVIDIA drivers. No otherwise, download the regular ISO. Once the download is complete, proceed to the second link and download and install Belena Etcher on your computer. After installation, the Balena Etcher program will start automatically. Now connect the empty 8 gigs of pen drive to your computer's USB port. Next, click on Select Drive in Balena Etcher and import the downloaded ISO image. Then choose your pen drive from the available options and click on Flash to start writing the image file. The duration of this process will depend on the writing speed of your pen drive. Now proceed to reboot your computer. While it's rebooting, you need to enter the BIOS settings. Now use the appropriate keyboard shortcut for your motherboard, which is typically F2, F9, or the escape key. The first step after entering the BIOS is to enable USB boot. Then change the boot order by setting the USB drive as the primary option. Next, disable secure boot. Now, some Linux distributions such as Ubuntu, Debian, and Fedora do support Secure Boot. However, in the case of Pop OS, Secure Boot needs to be disabled. Additionally, if you have an option like Microsoft's third party UEFI, just go ahead and enable it. It's also recommended to clear any key search certificates after disabling Secure Boot to avoid installation issues with Pop OS. Once it's done, save the changes. Now, your system will boot into Pop OS from the USB drive. If in case it fails to boot, use the boot menu to load the Pop OS installation media. Now, 
Now, when you are inside the live setup of Pop OS, proceed to set the keyboard layout. I will choose English US in this case. Then click on select and leave it as the default option. The Pop OS installer will then present the installation screen where you may see a two options, clean install and custom. Since we're installing Pop OS on a drive, choose the clean install method. Then select your drive and click on erase and install. Now proceed to create a user account. We have the option to encrypt the drive, but for now, I choose not to encrypt. That's it. Sit back and relax while the installation takes some time depending on the speed of the drive. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and restart your computer by removing the bootable media. Your computer should now boot directly into Pop OS. That's how you install Linux on a Windows 11 laptop. Now, if in case you prefer not to erase Windows 11 and install Linux alongside Windows for dual booting, check the video links in the description for more information. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching my video. This has been KSKRIO. I will see you in the next one.